Welcome to Any Resources, How to Build a Browser-Based in Morgan's Halls of Valhalla. Um, one of the last videos we're going to do on guilds, we're going to do a couple more, um, kind of spice them up, but we need to get some other things out of the way first. I just want to get the guild system down, and then we'll move on. Um, I come through real quick and did some changes, because these things are running kind of long, and um, I think we're ready to move on with it. But I did make a couple changes. I know this looks ugly. I'm, it's like I said, and plus this thing got moved over. i got to fix that. I just noticed that. But I'm not doing this to... Um, I'm letting you guys... I'm just showing you guys how it's done. And you guys build your game however you want. One thing I did do is I threw in... And I know a bunch of people are going to get mad at me. But there is a reason. I threw in a crap load of tables in here. The reason why is because I want to do a div CSS video that shows how to take tables out and start using divs. And, or using a little bit of tables with divs. So what I did right now is I threw in a whole bunch of tables kind of um, ugly it up a little bit and, and really threw them in there and then that way next video when I go to do my CSS video I can show you how to pull all those tables out and how to use divs the right way to where we can spice this thing up without um, without using so many tables and everything um, and basically that's all I did and, and one thing a couple couple extra things I added of course as you can see is I added a rank page that just shows the current ranks and what they are and then I have a members list here with a clickable link to where it'll bring you right to their profile so you can um, take care of their pro so you can actually do whatever you want to do be on that send them a message or whatever it is so whichever one you use that's you can go right to them in your guild um, so just a real quick thing I wanted to throw in there now, and you guys can see how it's done but the one thing I wanted to express was I, I used a lot of tables but we're going to get away from tables com not completely but we're going to turn these into divs right here and make them look a lot prettier than what they are because I do want to pretty this up a little bit and start getting it to look like a, a, a true online game and, and I've had a lot of div questions come along so I want to do that as well but um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I did change the things up to where instead of clicking a button, see members, it just gives you all your members right off. And um, all I did was, is I just below that put, um, actually about right here, put members, just selected the, all the guild members were guild ID equals the guild ID, order by access descending, so the ranks go from highest to lowest, and then just put a while statement with the table. And then the next, I just but what I did was is I created one big table. This is all one big table, and these two tables fall inside of it. Yeah, nested tables. It's it's pretty nasty. Um, but we're gonna fix all that. And then you can see here, here's another table where I all I did was, and the other thing I did, I changed this from select just the access to all of it because we will utilize it down here too. So we're kind of using that database query for one extra thing. That's all I really did. But this gives you an over uh, general idea of how to build a guild. Um, how to invite players, see the ranks, do all that good stuff. So it gives us a real good start and a fresh foundation where you guys can start implementing a guild system into your own. And we will continue this. We will make it better. We will do guild loot, all that stuff. But I want to do some CSS tutorials, and I want to do some um, some selling tutorials, auction tutorials, things like that to get get kind of ahead of it that way we can come back to the guild and say okay let's have a guild auction let's have this let's have that and then we can add it in 